This week's reflection is given by Archbishop Douglas Hambidge. It's not easy to pick a, a favourite verse of the scriptures because for me it depends on how I'm feeling or even what the weather's like. I find that favourite verses come and go. But one series of verses that often comes to mind, and I'll tell you about them, takes me back a long time ago. I was just a teenager and I preached my first sermon. It wasn't much of a sermon, but never mind, it was my first. It was during the Blitz in London. Now at that time, it was pretty fierce. As soon as dusk fell, sirens would go and many people would flock into their air raid shelters in their homes. And those who lived in the more crowded areas would go to the public shelters, underground shelters in the parks. Some went to the London underground platforms and slept there overnight. They stopped the trains, obviously. Well, our vicar, the rector, we call them vicars in England, he was, a, 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 he was called a, an air raid warden. And every night he'd tour these shelters just to see how people were. And he, because he was a parish priest, he would often say a prayer with them, say a little word with them. They'd sometimes sing a chorus or two, and off he'd go. And he used to take a group of us, young teenagers, to support him as the music group. We'd sing. We'd sing things like Abide With Me and all sorts of strange stories. Anyway, on one occasion, as we were walking to the shelter, he said to me, you know, Douglas, I think you, I'd like you to say a word to the people when, at the end of this session. Oh, I thought, my goodness, never done that before. So we went down into the shelter, we sang our choruses, when the roll is called up yonder and all sorts of things, and we sang Abide With Me. And then he said, now Douglas will say a little epilogue to wrap up the day. And I began to tell them about this verse from the Psalms. Now I happened to have learned a lot of the Psalms by heart. That's another long, sad story, and I'll tell you one day. But I began to recite bits of, the, of Psalm 91. Now you understand that outside, it was pitch dark, or there were searchlights sh shining. Bombs were falling. Anti-aircraft shells were going up. It was very noisy. And we were in these underground shelters, crowds of people, and it was, they were ready to go to sleep, if they could. And the psalm, and this is what struck me, it talks about God and it says, if you trust in God, listen, he will deliver you from the deadly pestilence, you will not fear any terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, or the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, or the destruction that wastes in the noonday. And I thought to myself, now there's something. Here they were, terror by night all around them. We were all pretty scared. And so I told them that story. I, I said to them, I remember, the Bible never says there won't be any dangers. What it does say, cling on to that trust in God. Not that God will help you avoid the problems, but will see you through. That, that stayed with me all these years. And now here we are in the middle of a pandemic, what was it he said? He will deliver you from the deadly pestilence. You will not fear any terror by night. My goodness, it seems to me that the scripture does have something to say. 
So at the moment, right now, that's my favourite text. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save me from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked.'"